Hi there, I'm Mr Caird and today we're going to be answering the question, can you drink a rainbow? For this experiment you're going to need a bag of Skittles, five glasses, a bowl to put the leftover Skittles in, a small glass for your finished Skittles rainbow, a jug for hot water, a kettle, a measuring spoon for one teaspoon and ideally a pipette to very finely get your liquid into your final rainbow glass. If you haven't got a pipette then a skewer to run the liquid down works just as well. Next up you're going to want to count out your skittles. You're going to want 10 reds, 8 orange, 6 yellow, 4 green and 2 purple, all of which you get in a standard bag of skittles. Then you're going to want to take each row of that colour and put it into its own glass. Red, orange, yellow, green and purple. Add one teaspoon of nice hot water and give them a vigorous stir with a teaspoon. There you have it, one drinkable rainbow. Cheers. So what's happening when we mix our Skittles in with the hot water? When we begin to mix the Skittles in with the hot water, an interesting thing happens. Some of the mass of the Skittles, some of the Skittle itself, begins to dissolve, mix in with the water and become one. It becomes a solution, a mixture of water and a solute, in this case, the mass from the Skittles. In the case of the purple Skittles, there's only a small amount of mass in there, which is why it only changes to a very light purple. In the case of the red Skittles, there's a lot more mass between all the Skittles, so much more mass gets added to the water. We end up with a much more dense solution because there's more mass dissolved in the water. In the case of the purple Skittles, it's a much less dense solution because there's only a small mass within the water. So once we take out the Skittles, what we're left with is a denser red solution and a less dense purple solution. The volume of the water hasn't changed, but the density has become greater. And the denser the solution, the heavier it is because there is more mass dissolved in it. The less dense the solution, the lighter it is. So, in theory, it should float higher than a denser solution. So, if you got to the end of that, you managed to make rain rainbow. Congratulations! Uh, you can do a few cool things, including moving it around a little bit, because no matter how dense liquid is, the denser liquid, the heavier it'll sit. The less dense liquid, the lighter it'll sit. And because we've made our rainbows from skittles. Ah, they taste pretty good too. Thanks very much for tuning into this video. There'll be more coming up uh, to keep you entertained and interested in learning during lockdown. But for now, I've been Mr. Care. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next video.